Because after washing it out, I still looked very much yellow and no, it's not because I'm Chinese. Monkey! Good afternoon, evening or night, Exolots. For legal reasons, I don't know where you live. Don't check your mirror, fellas! It is time, once again, for me to impulsively destroy my hair. And I know how it's a trend that I do this impulsively always. But really, the best results for hair always comes when it's 3am at night and you're having a breakdown. So could you blame me? Basically, I've been getting tired of my old hair. It was boring me. The color was fading weird. My mom kept calling me a tarantula, which is very hurtful. I decided the next time I dyed my hair, I wanted it to be a real game changer. I wanted to bleach my entire head and kill my scalp in the process. The only question was, what color? When I posted about wanting to dye my hair, I had a variety of responses. One of them was a message saying that I shouldn't dye my hair light colors such as platinum or blonde because it would quote, make me look tanner and darker, unquote implying that looking tan or dark is an undesirable thing. So that is why I have decided to dye my hair platinum silver because I am extremely spiteful. Besides that, I've always had a thing for men with like silver white hair when I was younger and then I realized by doing this, I can be the man, therefore taking my narcissism to another level. Now, so this was actually very rushed. I decided to go back to my hometown for a few days during a long weekend. And just the day before I went, I texted my mom saying that I wanted to dye my hair then and there. She agreed with this horrible idea. And at 3 a.m., I set off with my relatives back to my hometown. At 8 a.m., we arrived and my mom was frantically looking for hair salons that was open while I contemplated what a debit card meant. We landed on this one because it had cats in the images on Google, though when we arrived, there were no cats. A true scam indeed. I almost left a one-star review. Extra story I'd like to add, while we were looking for hair salons, I came across this one and all was looking great. It had a lot of five-star reviews until I clicked on the one-star reviews. Ahem, this customer said, Disaster, the ugliest hair salon I've ever had. Not recommended. And the owner, Steven, replied very eloquently To a Indian auntie with problematic hair texture and character we've ever had before Starting off with a gallon of racism here, not a good start Why? Why would you, why would you say that? Where are your morals bro? Where is your PR team? Sincere apology from us to you that doesn't really sound sincere, Steven. I don't know what to tell you. Here's the whole message, by the way. Steven, what the hell are you talking about? Every other bad review, if their username didn't match the name they gave the salon, Steven would just put this giant message reading, ahem. Caution, this is a fake account with bad intentions. Sorry if really was unable to suck yes by you, but everyone knows Steven will give very useful suggestions and explanations and even very clear instructions on what and how he will design or do and cut his customer's hair accordingly. This message will not be deleted due to wish to expose your evil intentions to others. Safe to say, we didn't go to Steven. Awesome choice actually because at the salon we did go to, you know the cloth they put around you to avoid the hair stuff getting on you? You will not believe the innovation this salon had. Sleeves. They put sleeves on those cloths. I am truly baffled. Why hasn't more people done this? So after the really pretty hairdresser choked the life out of me with this towel, it was officially too late to back out. I was told this hair would require many layers of bleaching, at least three. And since my hair is so oily that I can hear the USA's national anthem coming from it, we decided to wash it first. I was nicely informed beforehand that the bleach strands I already had were at a very high risk of just snapping apart and falling off my head. So that was lovely to hear. Couldn't wait for that to happen. Also, did you know that the pain from getting bleach on your scalp can be quote, excruciatingly painful, unquote. That was what I was told since it was inevitable in my case. But since I am a brave young fella, and I also didn't want to look like a pussy in front of this really pretty hairdresser, I went forward with it anyways. Put bleach on my scalp and let it burn, for beauty is born of pain and vanity knows no edges of harm. 
There is pain and fear behind every follicle on my head. Every hair strand left behind a souvenir of the fire which raged on. Oh my god, I look like my dad. Wow. This is trippy. Considering how it was this grey ashy brown look, nothing in the world could have prepared me for how it looks like after washing. Oh my god, I look like those loan sharks in Hong Kong movies. I look like wheat during harvest season. I look like I speak for the trees. No time to contemplate how horrendous this appears because the second bleach had already been placed on. So quick story before we move on to the last bleach layer. I actually had been contemplating the colour I wanted for a while and I could not come to a decision for the life of me. Until this final day. It was a hard battle between completely silver with kinda blue undertones, the same but with light blue streaks or Napoleon ice cream. I was so sure I was gonna go for the blonde and pink streaks because I wanted to look like a Chupa Chups lollipop strawberry flavor. I asked everyone, I asked my friends, I asked my parents, I asked my friends, I don't have a lot of people to ask. I almost asked you guys, which would have ruined the surprise. But in the end, I decided to give up on the streaks for now. Maybe in another timeline, you will be seeing a Chupa Chups feline on your screen. Before the third beach layer, I thought to myself, Wow, this does not hurt my skin at all. I must be immune! Turns out, she didn't even put it close to my scalp yet. She was waiting for the third layer to do it. That explains a lot more on why I felt like I was mildly on fire. I do not know how to explain this clearly, but it felt like my scalp had turned into the equivalent of a carbonated drink. It felt spicy. I was quite excited when we were letting this bleach layer rest since it was already looking very light. I'm actually a bit of a fan of this color. Let me know if I should just go platinum blonde. Like imagine this, but with a bit of blue toner. I could be Ken. I could be just Ken. After just 20 minutes, would you believe it, I had turned into Draco Malfoy. My dad came up with this joke, he was laughing his ass off over it. It was then time to wash off the final layer. I was excited. We were so close to the end that I could taste my dinner already. Oh god, I really do look like Draco Malfoy. In the end, however, I've learned that eyes can be deceiving and colour is a lie. Because after washing it out, I still looked very much yellow and no, it's not because I'm Chinese. I'd say on a scale of piss colours, I was slightly dehydrated and very neon. Not gonna lie, it was not looking promising. It was still very much dark and the hairdresser decided to put on a swatch of the hair dye for me to see first. The results were not as light as I wanted, so I had a difficult decision to make. Do I go for a fourth bleaching? At this point, surprisingly, my previously dyed hair was still holding strong. I may be the chosen one. The hairdresser was extremely baffled at how it was still attached to me. I guess I am just magnetic like that. In the end, I decided to go for a fourth bleach layer since we already spent so much time here anyways. My mom left to get dinner first and so I sat there, hungry and blonde. Eventually, after about an hour, it was time to wash the final bleach off. This was the moment. If it still wasn't light enough, I will have wasted time, money, and my literal hair for barely a difference in results. But everything in life works out for me, for I am Buddha's favorite. The hair is very light. We're good now. I am now a healthy shade of piss. Properly hydrated. All she had to do was put on the actual dye color, and I was gonna walk out of there a new man. I couldn't wait to look exactly like my reference image due to my unrealistic mindset of how the world works. Oh wow, this is looking a bit blue. <laughs> Isn't color theory just bonkers? Isn't it wild how colors just do the thing where they look one way and then you wash it off and it's the exact color that you expected it to be? Isn't it funny? How we never learn from history. It turned blue. It was like a like a silvery blue. Which actually I don't mind at all because the hairdresser did explain it to me. Basically, if it doesn't start off as blue, it will get yellow very fast. So the idea is for it to just gradually fade into the neutral kind of silver that I want. So don't comment Feline the blue. We are still Feline silver, okay? Uh, to celebrate Pride Month, I have become the blue hair with pronouns meme. So after eight hours of sitting on my ass and destroying my scalp, I now present to you Feline silver. Ah, uh, a booya. I look like I've just been dipped in a lot of Kool-Aid. Mmm. And so yeah, the blue will fade away eventually. Which is honestly kind of a shame. I think the blue is pretty cool. 
Let me hold you to a light source. Oh, no, my table's dirty. Yeah, I really like it. Like, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Whoever wrote that comment telling me not to dye my hair light colors. I'm going to play ping pong with your testicles because I just proved you wrong. Bam. Sorry, I'm filming this entire video from this angle because my hair looks really good from this angle. When I came in, my 80-year-old grandpa told me that I looked very K-pop. So yeah, here is how it looks so far. I'm really tired. At this point, you guys would be more surprised if you heard me say that I had a full 8 hours of sleep. That never happens. A few more close-ups. Thank you for that awkward 10 moments of silence, I appreciated it. So by the time I am narrating this, it has already been like 2 days since the dye process. And here are the results. Are you ready? Holy shit! It looks okay from this angle, so I'm just gonna maintain this angle for the duration of me talking here. I'm gonna pull a dream. So as you can see, it is definitely a lot more silver now, which is odd because I actually haven't washed it yet because I know you're not supposed to wash dyed hair for at least 3 days. I guess the pigment just kind of evaporated. Here is a picture of it under the sun and wow, I am glowing. You will not be able to miss me in a crowd. This is like a safety protocol. And I'm also holding a bunch of durian because it's durian season in the Malaysia. So yeah, this is how it appears. Woohoo! Waha. Oh yeah, I went to the mall today and I, I think I saw two kids stare at me for a while and then whisper to their parents like, Yo, look at that hair. Their parents would have either said it was nice or called me a delinquent and told their kids not to follow my footsteps. Future Felin who has actually washed their hair, please take it from here. Future Felin is very sick and tired and just finished crying. Here is the hair in subpar lighting. Okay, good night. Mwah. So that's the end of this quick adventure. Once again, maybe I should make better decisions ahead of time. Or maybe I should just never change the way I behave and improve as a person. Both sound like good options. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the hair, thank you very much. If you don't, I sat on a chair for 8 hours and spent hundreds of ringgit for this. I don't wanna hear it. You're gonna have to deal with this for at least a year. Thank you for watching. If you want more pictures, do go to my Instagram and I will now interrupt you with a very carefully placed sponsorship segment. Take it away, businessman foul. Hello, hello fellas, businessman Fowl here back again. You know what else is brilliant and has a light color scheme? Brilliant.org. That was not my best, I'm sorry. So what is brilliant? Brilliant is the best way to learn if you're a maths and computer science fan. Basically, uh, if you're more smart than me, please do check it out. Brilliant has thousands of lessons for you to learn things such as AI or advanced math in an interactive manner. So if you're a busy person who wants to build your analytical skills in an effective way, look no further because Brilliant has the solution for you. Brilliant isn't just an app, fellas. It's a personal learning coach with an endless amount of knowledge made convenient just for you. Do try out everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days with the link brilliant.org slash or just click the link in the description below. The first 200 who do that will get 20% off on Brilliant's annual premium subscription plan. Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Back to Grandpa Fowl. Surprise silver punch.